Hello everybody, welcome to a World of Warship Blitz video and this video is the Tier 8 French Destroyer which you'll see a lot of. I think I am really going to look forward to the Tech Tree French Destroyer line when it comes out, if it comes out, or hopefully when it comes out. Now these destroyers really are open water destroyers and they are excellent when they're handled correctly and terrible when not handled correctly. So anyway, let's see how we do in this battle. So if you have a look at the lineup at the opening screen, we have an interesting situation in this battle because this is a tier 8 battle. I'm in a tier 8 ship and on my team we have two tier 6s. We have a tier 6 Bayern and a tier 6 Leander who are buddied up with a tier 7 something that's not particularly responsible. I don't remember which one it is. However, I recorded it because, well, you never know. Um, so let's see how we do with a double up tiered um, Bayern and Leander. Now, to be fair, the Leander, in this sort of game, the Leander, I, I would take Leander into a tier 8 game rather than a Bayern. And the reason for that is Leander is damn close to a destroyer. So in some ways, if you treat the Leander as a bit of a um, a bit of a larger destroyer, now it does get hammered, but it's got smoke, and you've got smart ways to deal with things. It's fairly agile. So the Bayern, on the other hand, is just um, it's got reasonable guns. It's got terrible accuracy, and it's oh, well, yeah. Well, at least it's not a uh, a Normandy or something. So what I'm doing here is I am scouting things out. Um, I fired my torpedoes at one of these ships and this Nagato, now he's obviously turned and avoided my torpedoes but to be fair I don't really mind that much and the reason for that is that French torpedoes load incredibly quickly. There we go, we hit something on the far side of the map, that's nice to know. So I've got a couple of hits and we have a reasonable amount of damage and well there's no point in wasting the torpedoes, send them on their way. Um, guns spend most of your time on the guns if you're in a French destroyer that's where you get your damage torpedoes to be fair trying to line up torpedo shots if you're going to make them sure hits you have to get so close you're going to get absolutely caned and you can see that I've got some nasty hits against me and I'm having to uh, run the repair party on them but you keep firing the torpedoes because the torpedoes they just keep they just keep reloading and um, if you get enough in the water you'll hit something and don't in fact, the French destroyers, if you ever get either of the uh, premium French destroyers, are a good ship to learn how to fire torpedoes on, or judge torpedoes, or f try and use predictive firing rather than down the cone firing. Um, so when you're um, fighting a battle, when you're fighting a destroyer, um, yeah, learning where to send those torpedoes is very important. Um, Right, anyway, we um, are basically making a bit of a menace of ourselves down here with the, um, with the French Richelieu. Um, obviously I've got these uh, rather under, over-tiered ships on my team and what I'm trying to do here is just really keep the pressure up. Now one of the things that the Le Terrible and French destroyers I suppose do pretty well is because they fire at long range and they are destroyer sizes and destroyer agile targets they a lot of enemy fire tends to miss but because they are destroyers and attractive at long range you do actually attract. And as I was saying, um, yeah sorry there was a short break in the recording there, as I was saying in the uh, in Le Terrible you um, end up being quite a bit of a target and um, that has the effect of, um, well, basically tanking damage because if they're firing at me, they're not firing at my little tier 6 um, buddies there and they can get on and try and help win the game. So as you can see, I'm getting an awful lot of fire, HE fire, I oh, know that's, uh, sorry, AP fire from battleships. Actually, to be fair, that was probably aimed at that battleship there. We're just keeping up the, um, the annoyance factor, uh, keeping, basically just keeping HG going, there we go, off we go with the um, rapid reload, they started to dial in the range which is quite effective of them however um, they have been firing AP and um, well with 20 seconds between shots I'm quite mobile and I'm opening out the range, let's see where he's going to put the next lot of shots, 
Um, we might be getting slightly out of range here. He's going for one of the other targets. Um, there, there we go. Well, he probably couldn't lead because his lock, because I'm heading towards that target with his lock moving in that direction. I'm not an easy target, and um, yeah, anyway, he disappears behind the island, but Green Thumber Benson basically knocks him out. So there we go, we're down to uh, seven, still sh seven ships, including this uh, including, including this tiny little yander here, versus there now, two ships. Um, looks like he's taken a bit of pounding, but I suspect he's probably used smoke a couple of times to sort himself out. Who else have we got out here? The Richelieu. So the Richelieu is a good ship. Um, it does do a fantastic job with those two front turrets of fighting those in. But if it's the last ship standing, it really does struggle. Minute and 24 seconds. A destroyer and a battleship remaining on the enemy team. Um, as you can see, the... Um, the Richelieu's wisened up and he's going for quick kills, going after that Leander. And I'm just going to keep the pressure on him. I've used up all my rapid reloads. Um, and he is gone. By the Benson again. Leaving a single destroyer. And that destroyer is targeting one of our battleships. So... We can't really see what's going on. We can just tell on the mini-map that they're pretty close together. Engine boost activated. I'm heading in the cap. Um, and there goes our final destroyer buddy. He's taken down the battleship he was with. Um, I'm just opening fire. I mean, if I'm lucky, one of my shots will, well, won't be that lucky. So there you go, Le Terrible. I am looking forward to the, uh, the uh, French destroyers. If the uh, PC game's anything to go by, they will be um, fast little fellas with uh, good long-range guns and long-range torpedoes. Quite a unique playstyle. Um, would be quite happy to grind up through uh, several tiers worth of playstyle like that. Very good open water boats. Um, really struggle with islands because um, they do cover ground very quickly. Anyway, there you go. Uh, French Destroyer. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.